and we are back better than ever so still in the Greenhaven pocket area of Sacramento and um, my last song this time cover my eyes from the sun all other elements um, but here is what I want to talk about I want to get right into it because uh, I need mean, maybe every 10 minutes of this one um, who 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 how do you combat yourself from the haters because we know the haters are there oh I got it bread pickle piece of bread that's one good thing about walking too all the this environment you get to see like it's a walking field trip you know and think about it walking field trips for kids in school are not really walking field trips we're just talking the whole dang time but again walking field trips are good you're doing right i digress so get back to what i need to get back to there we go sorry Ooh, sun right behind us. Perfect angle. All right. <laughs> so uh, how do you combat yourself against the haters? We, we know they're going to be there. I think it's just first knowing when they're they're hating on you. And it's, it's not to be pessimistic. It's not to um, to look for people who are going to hate on you. But it's, it's just to be aware. Because they have a full plan. They, <laughs> they People say... Oh, no one wakes up in the morning and says they might not, but they hate so much that it just comes, it, they, they throw it up. Ugh. Ugh. Throw it up. Ugh. They throw up haterism. So when they throw those little snide comments or just even like comments of uh, where they're trying to get more information from you. So it's like, oh, so tell me more about that. You know, I don't know. You know, some people just, some, and some people care about you. I know. I get it. But again, um, You'll just see, and I think some, okay, there's two different, there's different types of haterism. So it's the haterism of like, um, I'll tell you an example. The other day I was at the gym and my shoes were in the corner of the gym and someone saw my shoes and I'm not a tall guy. I'm going to say that from the beginning, but my shoes were big, size 12. So, um, can you imagine a five, eight guy with a size 12? Well, that's me. <laughs> so, uh, the guy that was in the in the locker room with me beforehand, uh, he was like, you know, talking to me, having a good time. You know, we're just chatting, just catching up on stuff. I'm on Christmas. This same guy walks out and his wife's there. His wife noticed my shoes. So his wife was like, oh, those are your shoes? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And then he goes, he says it. He mentions it out loud what the default is, what that situation is. Like, or what he thought was a default. I don't think I see it as a default, but he, he does. So he says, oh, little guy with big old feet. And I was like, I said nothing to you. And beforehand, you said, you was not talking about that type of stuff. You was, we were inside the the gym, you know, in the, the, the locker room, you know, chumming it up. Hey, 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 how's it going, blah, blah, blah. And then you want to say something different? That's haterism right there. That right there is haterism. He couldn't wait to hate on me. So that his wife maybe wouldn't give a compliment or say, oh, you know, they say people with big feet, big socks. <laughs> no, no. What I'm trying to say is that you got to get yourself ready for those type of things. Meaning, no, it, it's going to happen. I call it. They're going to talk shit. They're going to talk their haterism. Sorry, I say shit. Sorry. I know you want me to say shit. OK, I'll, I'll stop saying shit. Okay. All right. Um, so they're going to talk their talk. And when they do. Sometimes it's just laughing at them. It's almost like smiling them off. Like, hmm, yeah, you got me with that one. <laughs> because they almost sometimes want you to engage. Meaning, they want you to be sad. They want you to feel bad. You know, they're, they're watching your reaction. So when they do say something outlandish like that, I normally kind of just, um, what I do is just kind of look at them like, like you got like almost like you got me you won that one mm -hmm. if, you, if you feel you needed that win you got me because i don't want to be angry sometimes i almost like kind of like yeah like, really it's just a you got me look i want them to know you really didn't get me but if you feel that was what you need to do to get me have a great day because i got more things to worry about and that's what's sad about haters and the real thing about haters is that they will go out of their way 
to put you down because they hate that much. Have a good one. Oh, they hate that much. So that means it's your job to keep on doing what you're doing. Because the more you do what you gotta do, the more they're going to, they can't, they're, they're gonna shut up. And it might take them a while, but they might never shut up, but um, they're just gonna continue to hate. So if they're gonna continue to hate, you might as well continue doing your job. So let them hate. Let those haters, and it builds you up. It's, I don't say these are things that are, are building character. <laughs> really, deep down character. So as they hate, you just elevate. I'm gonna use that one. As they hate, you just elevate. And I think that's all we really can do is just continue to elevate, continue to grow. Uh, hi, good morning continue to grow and so those haters oh my god they're just there they're there to put you down and keep you down and your job is just to just keep on doing your job um i know we say that but again i'm trying to give you some some examples of what i've been going through uh in so many ways from co-workers to family members uh they just find ways to hate and they might they're, they're, a hater is not going to openly say i hate you Get, now you, you catch my, my drift they're not going to say I hate you so what they're going to do is find ways to kind of just question you um, second guess you because really sometimes and they hate sometimes a, a really a hater they hate themselves so when they second guess they're second guessing that they can't do it so they're going to put that fear up on you um, now the question is are you going to let that happen you know I, I love the I listen closely to people and people will say certain things, um, you know, and that's the part I think I want to really try to get to you is that it's the clues, it's the little small things they'll say. I'm not trying to offend you, but um, what did someone say to me the other day? No pressure, no pressure, just pressure. So they, that person might not be a hater, but when someone says there's no pressure, they want, they're trying to put the pressure on you. <laughs> there is pressure uh, for you to for you to, for you to do what you, you you need to do. Um, you know, there's a party, and you know you didn't know about it or whatever. Uh, and I'll tell you why you didn't know about it because if someone calls you later and says, "Hey, by the way, um, do you want to play this party?" Da -da -da? Wait. So they also might be a person. <laughs> that uh got the last minute hey there's a party now they want to add you to it that might not be a party you need to go to i want to go to a party that has been become a planner that in advance you've made some arrangements to have me go to the party watch sometimes what how you get invited to things you think oh it's so special i'm getting invited to this vacation you might be the by the way person you know, you think, oh, they're so cool to me. Oh, thank you. Are they really? They might want your supply, something that you can provide. Laughter, money, uh, you name it. And you know what? God bless those haters. I'm not saying a hater is someone that's like out to, to like destroy you. and But they just, they're hating on themselves. And they just have not found themselves yet. And that right there is everything, finding yourself. I mean, people have not. So if they have not found themselves, they're looking, they're, they're still searching. <laughs> What's the song I'm trying to think of? But they're still searching for their happiness. They're still searching for their identity, searching for um, trying to be completed. And we're, some of us might, might never be complete. I might never be complete, but I, I dang well know now the, the path I need to take in order to reach my happiness. And some people don't even know their, and that's the part. A hater does not know their path. They're lost. They're, they're, they are lost. So I'm getting close to the end. You find your path. You find your, your energy. What's gonna get you to happiness. And those haters are gonna hate. You just continue finding what makes you happy. That will get you into the right pathway. The pathway of success, the pathway of just you. Understanding you, knowing you, and loving you. I think I said that pretty good, right? I think 
So I know, so, because I love me. And when you love yourself, you can't be denied, you can't be wrong, because there's only one you. So just keep loving on you. Have a great day, walkers. Keep walking in newness. Peace.